above that, like, what does the Canadian government who represents Canadian people want from the uh, pharmaceutical plan? And you had mentioned first dollar or fill the gap. And quite honestly, I don't actually know. Fill the gap is a little bit more straightforward to me. First dollar, I actually don't know what that even means. So if you can explain that and uh, maybe explain, like, how would those two different uh, approaches change the way that the CDA or the w would work? Like how, how would that impact what the CDA does or, you know, downstream from that? Yeah, there's a major difference between universal public coverage, first dollar coverage by governments uh, in that type of a model. Every Canadian citizen would be covered under that plan. So you're, you go to a pharmacy, you're your plan, your drugs are covered under that federal plan versus in a fill the gap system that would just expand our current system of both public coverage, or the, the um, insurance companies uh, that, that provide coverage to employees or individuals, as well as that large number of Canadians who have no drug coverage uh, for whatever reason. And that's probably 10 to 15 percent of our Canadian population that has to pay for their medication out of their pocket. And that's where we really need to fill the gap. So to fill the gap means to provide some form of coverage for those people who have no insurance or who don't have enough insurance and there still is a significant financial risk. So those two systems are very different. Um, we do have a lot of, of private insurance companies in Canada that provide coverage to unions to government employees. Uh, there's probably 100,000 different plans uh, that are provided through our private health care system or private uh, insurance. So maybe I'll add to that too. Actually, one of the, maybe a good way to think about this too is I don't know if you guys have heard about the Canada Dental Benefit that was recently you know, announced, right? So that's kind of like a fill a gap. Like I, I can't go to the, the dentist and use that plan, right? And so there's a very specific eligibility and everything. So, I mean, something else to think about, right, in terms of um, everyone being covered under one actual Canadian plan versus just filling a gap is, so if you're negotiating, a lot of times you negotiate a price of a drug, it's going to there's going to be that volume component, right? So if there's um, a lot more population that you're negotiating for, then there is that uh, the volume can sometimes drive better prices, right? So there is that type of difference as well. And that's why sometimes, you know, people say, well, if we had a national program, will we get better prices, for example? I'm not saying we will. There's a lot of nuances there, actually. But um, those are the kind of discussions that are different between Philacap and everyone being covered under one plan. 